audition and then I came back again because a professor in the music department invited me to meet a Dr. Catherine Mikey. And so she and I had a really great chat. She asked if I had, you know, looked into iFocus and I had seen it on the website, but I wasn't really sure what it was about. I'm a transfer student into Linfield and I'm going into the science department so I just thought it would be a good opportunity to get to know some other folks that were in the science department and maybe have a chance to really get to know some people before school started. We have five faculty members running what we call modules. We have Jennifer Heath from Physics and she led the students doing what's called an Arduino project. So they did some circuit boards and computer programming and they could design the letters of iFocus and so there's some programming that you have to learn to be able to do that. Um, Megan Bestwick from Chemistry uh, had them purify chlorophylls and chloroplasts from plants, so from spinach leaves, and then did a biochemistry project to purify the protein from that and did some tests to figure out what was going on there. Captain Reinke from biology had them work with fruit flies, or Drosophila, and do a genetics project that's part of her research. And, and Jennifer Nordstrom. <laughs> Jennifer Nordstrom. From math, did a project on competitive Com graph coloring. Yes. They used crayons, it was awesome. <laughs> I knew that I would enjoy myself no matter what, but all the activities I had planned that was sort of a surprise um, at the, um, the opening introduction were have been just fabulous and I think they did a really great job at you know creating a variety of interdisciplinary activities for us to do so it's great. So we are looking at um, organismal abundance sort of diversity and abundance of what are called informal organisms so things that live in the sand so we have these coring devices um, and they take sand samples and pass them through a sieve and then try and just figure out what organisms are present in the sand um, and then we also took some water samples and later this afternoon we will analyze those for nitrate nitrate concentrations and we're hoping to see some patterns where nitrate concentrations correlates with organismal abundance so and we're also doing it at four different beaches so this is seal rock this is our third beach yep and so we'll do one more after this i i thought at first it was going to be a lot more strict and rigid and it's really just it's been a lot of fun we we're getting a lot of work done but it's just been a lot of fun in the process so. um, the goal is to get first year students to sort of get engaged with science faculty before they even start. So that the, from the moment they walk into the classroom, they already know some of us and they already know some of their classmates and they can sort of get right to doing science, learning science before, we, before they even begin. One of the things we are hoping to find is that students who join iFocus stay in science and we've seen that. So we have 100% students staying in science which is fantastic. But we're also seeing that students will take more than one science class, science or math class, in that first year, whereas many of our other students only take one class. Uh, so we're increasing our just sort of emphasis on sciences. But then the other thing that we're doing right now is starting learning communities. The first year we didn't do that. Last year we started that and we had a really successful genomics learning community. And this year we hope to have three or four different yeah. kinds of learning communities, maybe one focusing here on beach microbial ecology, that kind of thing. Yep. Um, another genomics one, hopefully some math modeling, maybe even some physics programming, those kinds of things again. So the goal there is really retention and spreading the idea of iFocus to other students who weren't here early. 